Mr. Brill worked for Diana for a decade and slams the portrayal as not who Diana was. Speaking to GIVA News host Dan Wooden, Mr. Burrell discussed the distasteful portrayal of the royal family, in particular the late princess. Mr. Burrell told Dan, I was there for 21 years, I stood beside the Queen for 11 years, and Diana for 10 years. These are my years, the years which I witnessed and I'm finding it very difficult to find anything truthful in this series. He added, it's altering people's perception towards the royal family and the princess particularly. You know, I have watched every episode and in the final episode, you will see Princess Diana voting to abolish the monarchy in a national debate with Trevor MacDonald, and pressing the no, I abolish the monarchy button. The former butler claimed that that did not happen. He continued, why would a woman, who loved being a royal, be very proud of being a member of the royal family? Proud of her sons being members of the royal family, proud that her son would one day be king. Why would she want to tear down that institution, it doesn't make any sense. That is not true. That is not who Diana was. Diana was a very keen supporter of the royal family. Season 5 of The Crown was released one week ago, on November 9th. Netflix has staunchly defended The Crown. The streaming service has previously insisted it is a fictional dramatization and is inspired by a reality rather than a documentary-like retelling. A spokesperson for Netflix, amid criticism about the lack of a disclaimer at the start of The Crown's episodes, said, The Crown has always been presented as a drama based on historical events. Diana tragically died in August 1997, following injuries she has sustained from a car crash. Diana's sons, William and Harry, were only 15 and 12 at the time of their mother's death.